Now let's welcome back New Zealand's favourite naturopath, Lani Lopez. Welcome, Lani. Hello, Mel. Now today we are talking in beauty, we're talking about hair loss and how you can assist your body through nutrition to get healthy, glossy hair like yours. You've got a wonderful head of hair. I know, I feel like a fake sitting here. Because here I am talking about thin hair and I've never had a problem. That's okay though, just because you don't have it doesn't mean you don't know about it. So That's what's right. one of the main causes? Well, what causes hair loss first? Well, uh, there is pregnancy and also male pattern baldness, which can happen to women too, and that's a cause of hormones. Stress is a huge factor, and now uh, we're looking at oral contraceptives with progesterone being another cause. So it's other things to do with hormones. And, um, and stress and tension, so if you are feeling very tight, or even if you're putting stress on your hair and pulling your hair in the same fashion, oh. maybe pulling or your hair up all the time, then you tend to lose your hair around the front here. Oh right, or getting it back combed every day, which I do That's sometimes. Right. You know, it makes it brittle. You should see mine yep. snapping off like you would too not much, believe. Too much dyeing or bleaching, that, that makes it brittle too. Natural, this is totally natural. I don't know what you're talking about, Lani. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> what I found when I was pregnant, though, I didn't lose my hair when I was pregnant, it was afterwards, in the shower it was coming out in sort of big clumps. That's right so it's, and that's all to do with the hormones so we really need to balance the hormones out or, or look at the stress and certainly the nutrition because nutrition deficiency or lack of circulation to their hair can make it fall out too. Okay so that sounds like a good hair, head massage is in the cards then. Oh, absolutely. Excellent well, I like that anyway. So what if you're experiencing not just a, like a little bit falling out but extreme hair loss? I recommend seeing a trichologist um, or going to a hair clinic or certainly seeing um, you know your doctor because there are hormone replacement treatments certain nutrient pills already packed together and shampoos and conditioners that you can use that block um, the receptors that make your hair you know literally fall out yeah. um, but for those that are sort of just moving into it know that these things are a very long-term strategy because it takes a long time to grow your hair it does take a long time so doesn't it? I recommend aloe vera and spirulina aloe vera because it helps with digestion for nutrients and spirulina if you don't like the powder have the tablets that's what I have and uh, <laughs> and it's really good to get the nutrients back in and then something to speed up your circulation because you want it to reach every part of your body mm -hmm. and and cayenne is very good for that you can get cayenne capsules or add it to your food or your pie so that helps with your circulation <laughs> yeah. actually put it in your pie that's a really really good idea I like the way you're thinking have you got a cayenne in your pie he's gonna put it in I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got it in there now, he doesn't want to lose his hair. I'll vote for him. Yeah. Now tell me, I'm very interested to know what else can you eat to sort of keep that healthy head of glossy hair going? Uh, obviously smoking and drinking a lot steals nutrients from your body. Smoking makes your blood circulation very poor. Yeah. So if you can, just try and remove Don't do those. those things. Don't do those yeah. or you know, lessen them. You know, I'm, not, I'm not too hard and then get a lot of nutrients into your body. So loads and loads of vegetables, make sure they're green leafy ones, and iron is another problem. So if you're iron deficient, or if you are iodine deficient, and iodine can be found in salt or seaweed, or go to your naturopath or physician to get those levels checked in your body. Okay, and so eat those things. And I guess it all boils down to, again, once eating a whole food diet with lots of fruit and veg, more on the veg side of things, and just look after yourself. And that's true, and, and the stress thing too, because the stress changes the way that your hormones act and causes your hair to fall out too. There's so much to do. Go, look, go and see a naturopath and they can sort out okay. your, your whole life in terms of relaxing and getting those nutrients back in. Yeah, and you can have the glossy hair. My hair's good and thick, it's just starting to get a bit frazzled You've by all the treatments. beautiful hair. With all the treatments it's having on it. But I do like the thought of going to see and getting everything checked out and I think it's also very important that you watch what you eat and you monitor and have your stress levels all nicely in order. So you should be doing some meditation perhaps. A little bit of mindfulness every now and again won't hurt. Oh. Yeah, you can do it right now, Lani. Hey, thank you so much for that. Really appreciate you coming in. Great information as always. And if you like more information, head along to Lani's website, lanilopez.com.